Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel SKV Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to boost your CPU speed or processor performance in Windows 10 and 11. Adjust the CPU frequency mode to high performance to increase processor performance in Windows 10 and 11 laptop. And also we have gathered a few tips to increase your processor performance. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's start. Adjust the CPU frequency mode to high performance. To do that, open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. In the run dialog box field, type control and press under key to open the control panel. In the control panel, change the view option to get the full control panel settings like this. Under control panel settings, now click on the power option setting. Here if you see high performance power plan, then you have to select it. If not, you can create a high performance power plan by clicking on this create a power plan option in the left side. You can see here, click on it and then select high performance and give the name high performance like this. Once done, click on next and then click on create. Once it's done, then select change plan settings and then select change advanced power settings then you will see this kind of advanced settings window here make sure you selected high performance settings like this under high performance settings scroll down the bar for finding processor power management tab then expand the processor power management option and then expand minimum processor state like this. If you are on the laptop, you will see battery option and plugged in option. Now you can set up to conserve laptop battery or give your system a boost. Then you have to keep it its zero percentage on battery option to conserve laptop battery. Here change the settings for on battery to zero percentage like this. And then you have to keep it under percentage plugged in option to improve your system performance. Here change the settings for plugged in to 100% like this. Next expand the maximum processor state. Here change the settings for on battery to 100%. When your laptop is plugged into the battery, you have to keep it under percentage to improve your system performance. Then here change the settings for plugged in to 100% like this. Once it's done, click apply and click OK. Keep in mind, each of this value will only be saved on the current high performance power plan you selected. OK. If you are on laptop, you should consider the high performance option when plugged into a power source and balanced option when unplugged. That's it. Next, set the value of virtual memory size. Let's start. To change the value of your PC's virtual memory, to do that, open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. In the run dialog box field, type sysdm.cpl and press under key to open the system properties window. In the system properties window, select the advanced tab, then click on the settings button under performance like this. In the performance options window, select the advanced tab, then click on the change button under virtual memory like this. In the virtual memory window, uncheck the automatically managed paging file size for all drives box at the top of the window and then select Windows system manager drive and then select the custom size like this next here enter the recommended value in the initial size box and a larger value in the maximum size box microsoft recommends that virtual memory initial size be set at no less than 1.5 times and maximum size no more than three times the amount of ram on the computer the initial size is one and a half 1.5 times the amount of system memory the maximum size is three three times the amount of total system memory. For example, if you have 4 GB, which means 1 GB equal 1024 MB, 4 times equal 4096 megabyte of memory. So the initial size would be 4096 MB, 1.5 times equal 6144 MB, and the maximum size would be 4096 MB, 3 times equal 12288 MB. That's it. Use your calculator for multiplying. In my case, the total system memory size is 8 gigabyte. 8 gigabyte, which means 1 gigabyte equal 1024 megabyte. 8 times equal 8192 megabyte of memory. So the initial size would be 8192 megabyte 1.5 times 
equal 12,288 megabyte and the maximum size would be 8192 megabyte three times equal 24576 megabyte so here the initial size would be 12 gigabyte equal 12288 megabyte and the maximum size would be 24 gigabyte equal 24576 megabyte that's it once it's done then click on set and click on ok to save the new settings then you will see the changes you have made require you to restart your pc before they can take effect click ok to confirm then click apply and click on ok to confirm again click on ok once it's complete restart your pc for a change that's all next disable unnecessary startup programs to do that open the task manager right click on the taskbar and then select the task manager it will open task manager then on the task manager click the startup tab like this now you can see all the startup applications on your computer here right click each applications that you want to turn off launching at the startup and then select the disable like this or right click each applications that you want to turn off launching at the startup and then select the disable like this once it's done close the task manager that's all next disable system visual effects heat up your cpu by disabling visual effects to do that Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. In the run dialog box, we'll type sysdm.cpl and press under key to open the system property settings. Here, switch to the advanced tab. In the advanced settings page, under performance section, click on settings. Then you will see this kind of window. Here, under visual effects, if you have time and would like to tweak, you can read about each individual effects and turn it on and off like this however it's probably a lot easier to just select adjust for best performance at the screen and then click ok this will turn off the old effects that slow down your pc so select the adjust for best performance option under visual effects and confirm the change by clicking apply and ok that's all. Once it's done, then restart your PC and see if that speeds up your PC. That's all. Okay. Next, defragment and optimize your hard drive. that, open the search box by pressing Windows logo key plus Q. Then type defrag into the search box and in the search results, select defragment and optimize drives like this. It will open the optimize drive settings page then select the drive that you want to defragment like this also you can select the multiple disks by holding down the ctrl key and clicking each you want to defragment like this then click the optimize button to defragment it like this it will take a few minutes for optimize process depending on your pc wait for a while once it's complete the optimized process restart your pc okay like this that's it certainly defragmenting your hard drive can help improve performance by recognizing files for faster access okay that's it next turn off background applications do that open the windows settings by pressing windows logo key plus i on the settings page select the applications entry and then in the left pan select the applications and features then go to the right pan in the applications and features management area scroll down to the entry of the background applications you wish to adjust settings for click on it then click on the advanced options in the background applications permissions section now move to the toggle switched off under background applications it will turn off applications in the background that's it you need to check background application permissions for each applications individually if you want to turn off applications in the background that's it once it's done close the settings that's all next disable transparency effects 
To do that, open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I. In the settings page, click on personalization and in the left pan, under personalization, select the colors like this. Then go to right pan. In the colors management area, move the toggle switch to off under transparency effects like this. Once it's done, it can boost the overall system performance. Transparency effects are a visual feature in Windows 10 that make windows and surfaces appear translucent. Some people like this effect but others may find it distracting or slow down their system performance. It takes a surprising amount of work for Windows to create these transparency effects and turning them off can make an overall system performance boost. That's it. Next, turn off game mode. Game mode is usually enabled by default in the latest version of Windows 10 or 11. It could slow down your system when you are not playing because it keeps some system resources in reserve. So turning it off game mode can give your PC a quick boost. You can always turn it back on again when you want to play a game. To do that, open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I on the settings page. Then select the gaming entry like this and in the left pan select the game mode. Then go to the right pan. In the game mode management area, turn it off game mode toggle switch like this. It will turn off game mode and give your PC a quick boost. You can always turn it back on again when you want to play a game. That's it. Next, turn off application and notifications. Okay, let's start. Turn off application notifications via Windows settings. To do that, open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I. Then select the system entry like this. And in the left pan, select the notification and actions like this. Then go to the right pan. The notification and actions management area, move the toggle switch to off under notifications like this it will turn off all application notifications otherwise you can also turn off each applications that you want to stop notifications scroll down and move the toggle switch to off next to the applications that you want to stop notifications like this you can turn off each applications that you want to stop notifications like this that's all Next, shut off Windows tips and tricks. To do that, open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I. In the settings page, click on system entry like this. And in the left pan, select the notification and actions like this. Then go to the right pan. In the notification and actions management area, scroll down to the notification section and uncheck the box market get tips, tricks and suggestions as you use Windows like this. Once it's done, Windows should run more smoothly. Close the Windows. Now Windows should run more smoothly. That's it. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching and supporting. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Your contribution is more confidence to us. If you have any issues, so please let me know in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting. See you in next video. Bye. Take care.